Question 17. This is an angles question, so we need to remember the rules of angles that we might know here. Okay? So you calculate the size of angles A and B in this diagram. Now the first thing to remember is that we've got a cross shape here. Okay? Now you should recognize this cross shape as containing angles which are vertically opposite to one another. Now remember vertically in this case means opposite at the vertex and the vertex is the point. So this point here. So these two angles, the 160 and the A are opposite at this vertex, opposite at this point. So therefore we call them vertically opposite. And vertically opposite angles are equal. So if this is 160, this angle A must also be 160. And that is the answer to angle A. So angle A is 160. To get angle B, we've got to realize that this shape here is a quadrilateral. And specifically, it is a kite. Now remember, quadrilaterals, in a quadrilateral which has got four sides, any shape with four sides, the angles must total 360 degrees. So we, what we've got to do is remember that this square in the corner here means that it's a right angle, so that's 90. This square in the corner down here, that's a right angle, so that's also 90. And we've got this angle here is 160. So if I add up what we've got so far inside the kite, we've got 160 plus 90 plus 90 again. So let's see what we've got so far. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0, 9 plus 9 is 18, and 18 plus 6 is 24. Put the 4 in, carry the 2, and 1 plus the 2 that I carried is 3. So, so far, we've got 340 degrees. Now, as we've just said, angles inside the kite have got a total 360. So if we've got 340 degrees already, we need another 20 degrees to get it up to 360. So this angle B in the corner here must be that extra 20 degrees. So angle B, 20 degrees. Just to run through that again, we've got 160 on angle A because it's vertically opposite, opposite at the vertex, opposite at the point, and vertically opposite angles are equal. These two are right angles, so 90 90 and 160 makes 340, so angle B must be the extra 20.